Let's do a bourbon review, Basil Hayden, Subtle Smoke. My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel, which is just an elaborate attempt to make my bourbon collection a tax deduction. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and let's get right into the review. Basil Hayden is typically a good 80 proof, easy sipper. This subtle smoke is what you would expect from Basil Hayden, but they finish it in a new hickory smoked oak barrel. I do find it odd that I'm not a huge fan of finished whiskeys, but every single freaking bourbon review I've done lately has been a finished whiskey. All of them have been finished in some sort of oak though, which is a little more appropriate. Not a big fan of port wine and those kinds of things. So I think this is going to be good. The bottle's a solid C, like it's fine. There's nothing special about it. It's not particularly bad. We're gonna give it a C plus because they did dress it up with this belt just a little bit, right? It's just a, it's the, it's an okay package, but they're gonna go out for dinner, so they threw a belt on. Nothing particularly special about it other than it's got this nice kind of copper band around it. Let's check that cork pop. Really strong cork pop on that one. Nice glug on the pour. So far, so good. Ooh, okay. That's got a lot going on on the nose. A lot of sweet toastiness. So you get the toasty, you get kind of that sweet, almost marshmallowy oak. Really, really pleasant nose. Like this, this reminds me a lot of the toasted barrel stuff from maybe Elijah Craig or Michter's on the nose. And it follows through on that. You get that easy, low proof, easy sipping. I would almost say no alcohol. Like if somebody handed this to me, I'd say, yeah, that may not have any alcohol in it. Like it just goes down really easy and smooth. So if you like low proof stuff, you're probably gonna love this. If you like low proof toasted barrel stuff, you're really gonna enjoy this one. This just tastes like a toasted barrel to me. Um, now I haven't had the Basil Hayden Toast, which is their toasted barrel expression, but this is very similar to what I would expect a toasted barrel to taste like. A little oakiness. None of the flavors are overwhelming. It's not especially thick. At 80 proof, you wouldn't expect it to be, right? Not a, not a great viscosity on it, not a overwhelmingly good mouthfeel or anything. It's a little watery. But the flavors are all there. I don't think this would be great if it were a higher proof. So the lower proof really works in its favor. You get some of the subtlety and nuance of that oak toastiness. Again, probably, you know, low end on the B scale, a high C. Pretty good bottle, easy sipper. Not something I'm gonna go back to a lot, but I could see, Lord, that cork does not. Got an oversized cork, apparently. You gotta really get forceful with the cork. Overall, pretty good bottle. Uh, something that I could see myself sharing with friends, taking to a party, something like that, but not something that's gonna get a lot of love and attention in my selection that I've got currently on the bar. Let me know, if, are you a fan of Basil Hayden? Have you had the Basil Hayden Subtle Smoke? And is this a bottle you're looking to pick up and give a try if you haven't?